Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Shores and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this mermaid look. This is a collaboration video with two other lovely ladies. This is Bethany's look. She did a cave inspired mermaid. Make sure you head over to her channel and check out her look as well. As well as Jackie who did an Arctic inspired mermaid. Her channel is also linked down in the down box below. So make sure you head over and check out the collaboration videos. And we all created different mermaid looks. I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this river mermaid inspired look. So since I was doing a river mermaid, I chose to create my crown with like river rocks and baby's breath and other wildflowers, kind of taking inspiration from the rivers in my area. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm going to start off using the Make It Forever Flash Palette. And I've mixed up a few kind of minty colors and peaches and whatnot. And we're gonna start with these cream paints just so that we can start to kind of add color to our face and look a little more mermaidy. You will also note I have a very full coverage foundation on and I have blocked my eyebrows because I don't feel like mermaids would have eyebrows. And I will link a tutorial on how I did that in the description box if you're interested. I just use a glue stick, it's really easy. I'm starting out with just adding some definition to my cheeks and then my forehead using some minty blues. So start there, use a fluffy brush and just kind of start adding your color. This is just kind of our base to our look so you don't need to be too precise. Just get some colors down there. You're also going to pull it along your jawline. Kind of think of this as almost like colored contours. Makes this look more fishy. I'm also going to add definition to my nose and I'm pulling it up. I'm going to be adding a lot of color along kind of where my brows would go because I want a very rounded kind of shape around our eyes. I switch on to smaller brushes when I need to. All the brushes I will use are going to be in the down box below, but there's not really certain brushes you need to use for this look. I'm also adding a little bit of that minty blue underneath our eyes, just on the outer corner and kind of pulling it out just so I can start defining kind of shapes. I switched over to more of a mint green color and I'm pressing that along where my eyebrows kind of sit and then it's also going to add a little more depth to our contour. So you wanna pull it along your cheekbones and along your jawline as well and blend it downwards. I'm then switching over to the peach color from the Make It Forever Flash Palette and I'm using this kind of like a blush-ish, kind of just adding color to my face, honestly. You're going to want to put it basically in the center of your cheeks, just kind of patting, and then I'm pulling it directly under where my eye goes. So it's kind of a almost oval shape from my cheeks up to where the outer edge of my eye is. I'm then fixing this kind of little peak that we have on our forehead and bringing it down a little bit more and adding some more of that minty color kind of across my whole face. I wanna make sure that the colors kind of echo throughout the entire look. Here we've got a light mint green and that's just kind of going over where my eyebrows are. You have to use patty motion so I don't actually disturb, you know, the glue that's gluing my eyebrows down because I didn't shave them off. And now I'm just adding more color into this peak. You don't really need this to be perfect because we're going to add more color later on. So now I'm just taking a bit of the peach mixed with white and popping that right on the center of my lids as a base. And then I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Prismatic Eyeshadow in Golden Peach and just patting that in the very center of my lids. I then decided to take a little bit of Blanc Type by MAC, and I'm just using this as a base shadow so it's easier to blend later on. So take that from my crease to up where my brows would be if they weren't blocked. And then I'm just going in with more of that golden peach color and concentrating it on the center of my lid, and then I'm pulling it into the crease, and then I'm kind of pulling the crease into basically my nose bridge area. I want to create this kind of rounded, weird shape because, you know, we're a mermaid, so I want to be a little bit kind of like fishy. I'm then adding it along my lower lash line as well, so it's kind of a halo-like effect. Now I'm adding the Lid Lingerie in Morning Sky. This is by NYX, and I'm starting on the under corner of my eye and then blending that outwards. You can take a really little bit of this and then just use a buffing brush and just buff it out. It blends super nicely, and I'm buffing it pretty far out basically towards my hairline because I don't actually have an eyebrow that's gonna get in the way. So you might wanna do this a little bit lower or not quite as far if you are keeping your brows for this look. Don't forget to add a little bit on the inner corners as well. 
Then I'm going to take the Cupcakes and Monsters palettes from Suva Beauty and I'm taking that minty shade in the corner and I'm applying that right into basically the inner corner of her eyes along where the tear duct is and underneath. I'm also pulling that kind of along the socket a little bit just on the inner corner just to create a more rounded looking eye. And then I'm doing the same thing on the outer corner and this is where I'm really gonna start blending it out. So I'm going ahead and placing it with a smaller brush just so I have a little more control. And then I'm taking a larger blending brush and really just blending that out. I'm blending it all the way towards my temples because you're a mermaid. So why would you not have color all over your face? It just it made sense in my head. If you did block your brows, be mindful of blending colors around there. One, because if you have any of the glue sticking, sometimes it'll stick and you also don't wanna kind of move your brows around, so use a little more patting motions. Now I'm going into that minty green color, and I'm placing that basically right above where my iris would be, where my eyebrow would be, if that makes sense. So just kind of patting some green. I definitely had to pat it because, you know, my eyebrows are actually there. And then adding a little to my temple and pulling a little bit kind of along the contour of my nose, and then I added some dots below my eyes. I just kind of want to make myself look a little less like normal human. Now I'm taking the Makeup Geek Sparkler in Solar Flare. I'm taking this on a Smith 235 and I'm patting that basically all over where I have peach on my eyeballs. So start getting some sparkles in there. I'm then taking the Solstice Sparkler and this I'm using over where I have that lightest mint green shade. So on my eyebrows, on the tip of kind of the peak on my forehead. And then I'm also taking it kind of as a highlight. We're gonna be using more of this when we actually make our fish scales, so you don't have to go too ham right now. So go ahead and pop it along the tops of your lips and then a little bit wherever that minty green is. Now I'm taking the Suva Hydra Liner in Acid Trip, which is this really fun orange, and I'm just adding a couple dots. So I have two, right at my tear ducts and then two just beyond it and then three kind of like along where my brow would be. I'm then going in with Melt Blitzed and I'm gonna be applying this to my lips. So I first just kind of went in with it and just applied it on my lips, rubbed my lips together just to get kind of a base coat down. And then I started to define it. I wanted to overdraw my lips and keep the kind of more rounded look. Think of kind of like how a fish, they have really puffy lips. So I did overdraw them and keep my cupid's bow really round and then I added a little more of kind of the mint from the flash palette and just worked that in. So they were a little more minty. I found that the straight up blitz was a little too much. And then I added more of that kind of green color just to my center. And then I took more of the solstice color in the sparkler and just added that to my cupid's bow and along the edges. I'm now taking Sea of Ghosts by Strobe Cosmetics and just kind of adding this where I need a little more color. So I've got it just a little bit on the outer corners of my eye, that kind of blank space that was up by my brow bone, on the inner corners, just to add a little more depth. This is just that really pretty sparkly blue color. I'm then taking more of the Golden Peach Prismatic Shadow by NYX, and I'm applying that kind of right over where the upper part of that blush was, but along the actual cheekbone. And then you just want to pull that down a little bit more and just keep making it basically the peachiest right along where that blue is. Then you wanna go ahead and get your lashes ready. Add some mascara and then I went ahead and stacked some of the New Bound Some Somali with the Knockouts by House of Lashes with some Ardell Long Flares at the edges just to customize these really long dramatic lashes. So you can see that's what the upper lash looks like. Then you wanna take some of the Color Mascara in Mint Julep by NYX Cosmetics and place that right in the center of your lower lashes and then these are the House of Lashes and Siren Lashes, and they are basically cut into chunks. So I'm applying one chunk in the center and one on the outer corner. You can basically customize lashes to basically however you like them. So this is how we're gonna create the scales. This is a basically bag that my apples came in from the farmer's market, but you can use anything that kind of looks like a net, fish net, stockings would work a bag, whatever works for you. And then I'm just taking a large blending brush by Sigma and patting that solstice color over first. And this is going to start creating scales along kind of our forehead. So it's gonna make us look more kind of iridescent and more fish-like. 
I was thinking, you know, kind of like, you know, trout or something like that, where they kind of have those pretty silver scales since, you know, River Mermaid. So you can see that that gives me a nice texture. I then am also going with some darker eyeshadows. So what was in that Cupcakes and Monsters palette, just any of the colors I already used on my face and pulling them along the rest of my face. And then right here, I'm using actually the vanilla pigment. So I almost have a highlight with scales. You can see I've got a couple different colors going on. I'm then also taking more of the solstice just down my forehead since I felt like it needed to be brought down a little bit more. You wanna be mindful to not move the net around too much while you're doing this or you know, your scales won't turn out quite as sharp. So be careful to kind of hold it in place. And you can use really whatever colors you like to kind of create your own mermaid. This is more kind of like inspo. I'm then again creating more of contours. So I've got really dark purple, then I'm purple, blue, and then green and pulling those down just kind of how we created the gradient with the mints from the Make It Forever Flash palette. I'm then taking a bit of solstice and pulling that down my chin. So we have a couple scales there. And then I'm also doing a bit of the solstice right on the corners of my nose. And then I'm gonna take the Vanilla Pigment by MAC and pull that down kind of a highlight on my nose. All right, so this is the final look. I completed it obviously with adding a wig and then my crown, which I created. I'll give you a closer look right here. This you could easily just create with anything from your local craft store. Some of my flowers are real and some of them are fake. So go ahead and kind of create your own crown if you wanted to recreate this look. The overall look isn't super hard, so I hope you will try it out. If you do try it out, make sure to hashtag Rebecca Shores MUA so I can check it out. Don't forget to check out the other mermaids in this collaboration. So I will have all the videos linked right here and then they're also linked in the down box below. So you can go check out their videos as well as their social media channels. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. You can also follow me in my other forms of social media. Those are all linked right here. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you later.